Greetings, groovy people. Welcome to the channel. This is the self-proclaimed Blue Dragon, and this week I learned something new for video editing. Hooray! <laughs> very, very minimal amount of learning, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Our topic this week is experimentation. At the risk of being Word of Wednesday, a little bit gauche, this video is an attempt to discuss some of the experiments and technique with like inking and coloring, but also with video editing gauche because none, none of this stuff is really new or really it's kind of old hat but it's kind of new to me so i'm gonna talk about it but as with all my videos and my comic this is targeting an adult audience and the character i'm working on in the background is from my free not safe for work web comic dark horse links in the description if you're an adult and you like these type of art videos comic discussions you know things of that nature please consider subscribing liking and hitting the notification bell First, we're going to talk a little bit about the image that's in the background. Last week, I did a video talking about Patreon, Subscribestar, and other donation sites to promote patronage of the arts and indie artists. And as part of that, I mentioned that on Subscribestar, I offer up monthly nudes as incentive art. So while most of what I have posted thus far has been more in kind of like a pinup style, you know, like 1950s, 60s, I'd even say a little bit influenced by the 1940s, this time I wanted to kind of take these projects to a new level and play a little bit with a style that's outside of my comfort zone. Normally when I do a piece it's inked in a black outline but I am starting this little mini series on Subscribestar where I'm doing these giant beings <laughs> which we've seen introduced into the Dark Horse story. The first one we saw was the water being. I'm just saying being in place of what they are because I don't want to have any spoilers. But the series, I'm going to begin with this forest themed character that's in the background. She's the one who has been in contact with Odysseus as of Act 6. Here's a video on the iCard that gives you a little bit more information about these beings. Um, not a lot because like I said, they're spoilers, but we've seen three of them thus far. And yes, I will have some male nudes, you know, for fan service, but just because I just... I need to draw more male anatomy and other anatomy as well. So I wanted to kind of step outside the box and rather than use the black outline on these characters like I normally do, as you can see I'm trying something a little bit new for myself where I'm using the correct color for each specific part of the character. So the hair, you can have a little bit of light green outlining to give it a little variety, brown for the skin, uh, red for the lips, etc, etc. So yeah, I, I did go back after the recording and actually use a light wash for her skin. She's actually a lot darker than how I ended up coloring her with the inks, but I'm, I'm not using the appropriate paper. So I couldn't do too heavy of a wash for the character because it was starting to buckle the paper. So it's not exactly the correct skin tone, but it's a little bit of an experimentation. These colors are gonna be off from the actual model anyhow. So I figured I'm just doing a little bit of experimentation. The finished version of these images are only going to be available to the Subscribestar patrons. So sorry, y'all. This is just a teaser. You'll notice that I've cropped off a lot of this video. We'll talk about that in a minute. I do actually like how it turned out. I am looking forward to doing this with the other characters. Rin's water being who came to her and saved her from death. And of course, Kana's being of light who was revealed at the end of Act 6. Back to the inking, what I was talking about, I, I think it's kind of cool how many artists use this technique throughout their entire comic. It's something that I don't personally do very often, but a good example of this is the webcomic Owlers. I think I'm pronouncing that right. It's a comic that I just adore. It experiments with different colors for the line, for the outlines, both on the characters and the backgrounds. It's a really great comic. There is a violence tag, but it's really a, a very well written and well executed comic it has a little bit of animated links in it very enjoyable i highly recommend it the link for that is going to be in the description both for tapas and comic theory but i'll also put an i card to that creator's channel up in the upper right hand corner the comic itself follows various animal characters in a world that is rich in mythology and magic love trials um, not romantic love, but like love for one another and for family. I mean, at least thus far, I should say. <laughs> and uh, just, just the personal journeys of the characters. 
They're very easy to connect with in spite of the main characters being animals, and I highly recommend it. It's very well done, so go check that out if you're interested. Uh, I got a little bit off topic, but I just kind of wanted to gush about that comic because I've been reading it for years, so I thought I would drop a recommendation for it here. I've talked about experimenting with different lines and colors and stuff like that, but I'm also going to be starting doing a little bit of experimentation with videos, and I hope to try out a few new things as time moves forward. You know, for instance, in here, in order to censor this, because this image does have breastuses, <laughs> To keep that hidden and keep it just for patrons only, I tried a new technique that I learned from a YouTuber that I just discovered. Um, it's this lady named Kelly Stamps. Let me tell you, I just love her dry humor and her sarcasm. This lady is hilarious. But she also is really cool in that she offers a lot of good advice to help creators keep motivated, how to keep focused on the target I mean, be mindful of like the things around you, of course, but also making sure that you're keeping track of what your personal goals are. And I stumbled across her channel just a couple weeks ago and found that she had like a step-by-step -step tutorial on how she makes videos. And while she does more of like a vlog style vid, I still found a lot of value in her tutorial. And she uses iMovie, but using her example and her idea, I was able to find similar tools in VideoPad, which is what I currently use at the time of this video. I'll have links for both of those down below, but they, they are both free. They have free versions. I did end up, I think, plopping down $30 for the version that you own and can make videos and monetize on if you want of the video pad. But, you know, realistically, I don't think I'm going to be making money off of any of these videos because I really don't care to censor myself that much unless it's for a reason. So... But iMovie and VideoPad both contain a lot of different editing options that have been kind of outside of my scope of what I've wanted to do in the videos. But I do want to kind of start experimenting and making these a little bit more entertaining. And Kelly Stamps has inspired me. And I'm going to put an iCard up in the upper right hand corner on one of the videos that I watched of hers. And, you know, she really helped me implement a very simple crop and zoom, which is... I think it's going to be handy and it's something that I'm going to try to experiment with a little bit more in the future. So yeah, I just thought I would share that for anyone who decides they want to try out some video editing, but you know, you don't have money to go buy software or anything. Those are some free options and some free tutorials. So yay, it's a win-win. Now, completely new topic of conversation, but related to the mystery woman in the background that is being inked. A couple of weeks ago, when I started working on this, I actually spilled my only two green inks all over my desk. So, <laughs> it was only last week's video that I was talking about how, oh, I'll cross that bridge when it comes on looking into what kind of vegan inks I should be finding. But, yeah, due to my own clumsiness... Working on this image back here, I had no sooner hit record on my software than I knocked over my ink and got it all over my brand new desktop. Luckily, the desktop is black. It, this shit still hasn't come off, but I'll keep working at it. You can't see it. It's the great thing. That's why I got a black desktop. But I had to, more quickly than I had anticipated, look up what I could and couldn't buy, or what I would and wouldn't buy, to replace those two colors. Now, I was able to salvage a little bit of what I had spilled, so that's what I used in this image. I'm still using the Dr. P.H. Martin's colors. But for whenever I run out of those colors, I was able to find, and there are links down in the description for different websites for people who are interested in cutting out animal products in their art supplies, but I was able to find the Daler and Ronnie green and light green. There's two different colors that I got. Which according to at least the website that I linked down below, those are cruelty and animal product free. So if you're interested in that. So, <laughs> the takeaway from this week. It's fun to experiment and step outside of one's comfort zone. When you do so, you may learn something new, even if what you learn is that you don't like what you try. So... Now, I actually found that I did enjoy what I tried. It's possible with a little bit of research to find free tutorials and to generate some ideas to experiment with different things that you think you might enjoy and just grow your own personal skill set. So those are my takeaways from this week. The question of the week. Do you want to see me experimenting more on my end with these images? 
If you like my comics, uh, these videos, or just want to support my art, feel free to join up and help out at any of the donation sites in the description. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You may also help out with a like, sub, and a ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Ringing, <laughs> ringing the bell. <laughs> Doing the bell thing. Yeah, okay. I tried to do something different. It doesn't work. Don't smash it. Just ring it. <laughs> you don't have to break the bell. Next week, I'm going to do a little bit of a talk about printing, how I at least go about printing my comic. So a little bit of a, I don't know if it's a tutorial, but just some tips and tricks that I, I do. So stay tuned for that. Peace and love, fare you well, and keep on trucking.